I don't know what to tell you right now. I am so irritated. I can't even tell if this P. I can't even tell if the PlayStation's on. It looks really pretty, but is it on? I can't tell. Let me see. Camera capture card. Here we go. Capture card. It's black. Nothing is working. Let me just double check. Hey, Techno Kitten. I just don't know if any. So basically, I don't know. We are live with sound. Welcome. I'm having some issues right now, and I think we're just going to have to play something else for a couple hours. I don't know what to do. I'm so upset. I just wanted to play Ragnarok. I'm trying to start it again. It was working. It was working. It worked. I was logged on to test it before I went live. When I start, when I went to, I just, I don't know what to tell you. Why is OBS locking up when I try to add a video input? Why? Yeah. Blue or white light is on. Yeah, it's white. It's on. So we have seen it work. I don't know, man. I don't know. It worked. It worked. Literally minutes before I started the stream, it worked. I had to restart like I usually do. <sighs> Time to play Fortnite with Sean. Yeah, I probably will. Let me see. I'm really sorry. Three hour IT stream. I did a reboot. Re usually that would work, right? I mean, I don't understand. I don't understand. And then with, when I tried to use OBS, I was like, okay, I'll just try to use OBS. When I open up OBS to add a video input, it locks up and I have to restart. And that was right after I updated OBS. It was an update on OBS. So I think it's a, uh, yeah, put the mirror behind you and keep the webcam on and we'll see the game. Well, I can't actually see the game since I have my PS5 hooked up to my computer. So I need the input to come through the capture card and clearly, Somehow the capture card feed is not working. I I know, I shouldn't have updated anything. I mean, the PS5 I'm sure is working. It's obviously a capture card issue. And I don't know what to do with it. It, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's on. I'm gonna try to unplug and plug in again. Plugging in and unplugging again. One more time. Sockies, thank you for farting. Um, device is not available. I did restart the PS5. I just unplugged and replugged in the capture card. I think there's something wrong with the capture card, which remember when I had that problem with my USBs and my cam link? and all the colors would reverse because I could see, if you look closely, you could see little sparkles on here, right? So the colors are not feeding in from the, Push the device button. to the computer correctly. And that's a capture card issue. It's clearly not a PS5 issue. So I have a capture pro, yeah, you see that? It's like when my cam link was a demon cam, exactly. So I think that somehow maybe the capture card got over overheated. So I'm turning the PS5 off. I'm going to unplug the capture card and just let it rest. And I don't know what else to tell you, y'all. I'm just going to unplug everything. I'm not happy about it. <sighs> I don't know what to tell you. It's very upsetting. Where is this? There it is, yeah. So anyway, what are we going to do? I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's the capture card problem. So I hope my capture card isn't broken. It literally worked earlier. So we're not going to play Ragnarok. And I need to delete my tweet. So, I mean, we'll play Ragnarok as soon as I can play it again. I don't know what to say. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I was literally looking forward to this all weekend. I just, uh, I just, uh, anyway. 
I don't know. Okay. So anyway, this is it. <sighs> Spiral and okay, let's not this let this don't this let's just switch games. Okay, let's see. Let's see if Sean wants to play Fortnite. Cause I could use some companionship, okay? Cause I'm really angry and all I wanted to do. You wanna play Fortnite? Fortnite. I'm sorry, y'all. All I wanted to do was play Ragnarok. I really, that's all I wanted to do. I was, uh, I've had a really hard weekend. I mean, I had the kiddo all weekend, which is not hard. It's just, you kind of just have to turn yourself off and be like, great, let's go drive to see the, just go drive for, uh, you know, an hour to go see some redwoods. Let's go to two birthday parties. Let's go to the zoo this morning. Let's go. And then I had to go to the school to help clean out a whole room for that. And I don't know. I didn't mind. I just wanted to watch you play a game. Well, Caleb Green, we're going to play something for a couple hours, okay? Ah. Uh, we all know how much Ragnarok would have been perfect for you and all of us tonight. Maybe not to be though. Yeah, I don't. Let's watch. Uh, let's watch. Let's play something else. I guess. I don't hear anything from Sean. So let's play something that's going to be a little bit chill. Okay, maybe chill. Let's try this uh, case of the golden idol, which has been kind of interesting to try to play. Um. Okay. Let me get this into, let's turn this down. Um, and I would like to do a windowed, well, wait, full screen. Wait, I do not want full screen. I want it to be windowed. Okay, and then we're gonna, all right. Hmm. All right, guys, I'm gonna get the, oh, ooblets too. Oh, there is new ooblets. Should we do ooblets? Maybe if this, this is only a demo, so we'll play the demo and then if ooblets. I'm sorry, you guys. This is a real bummer for me too. I just, I honestly was looking forward to it so very much. So very much. I was, I mean, it was the one thing that was getting me through the week. It was just getting me through the week. Now let me try to fix this, the size of this window. All right, and then we'll fix this, make it a little bit bigger. Let's try this thing, I've had it for a while, and then we'll play some ooblets maybe. That's a good idea. There. Um, what happened, Green Shirts, is that I had a capture card failure situation, so we can't play Ragnarok. And if you're coming in here for Ragnarok, I, want to do, I would want it to play it more than anything too, but sometimes we have to move on from our initial ideas and do something else. I don't know if this is a puzzle game or not. Let's play it. Uh, let's do it. This is just the demo. With highlights, select this if you don't like pixel hunting. Uh, recommended experience. Yeah, I don't. I, I want. Okay. Welcome, Raiders. It's slide puzzles. Sarah, I will not be playing this. There was an Ooblets update recently. Okay. Well, Rankham Raiders. Uh, Prologue, an abrupt termination of contract. Whoa. Okay, so do we have a murderer or what's going on here? I don't know what to do. Um, let's see. It looks like we have a clue here. A couple clues here. Okay, I can do that. I knew what you were plotting, you snake. Okay, a pipe. January 5th, 1742, both parties agreed to these terms for the expedition to Monkey Paw Island. Albert Cloudsley. Albert Cloudsley has the rights. Oh, okay. So we're picking out like clues and stuff. Has rights to two thirds of all valuable for the funding of the expedition. Oberon Geller has right to one third and any golden statues found. Dr. Oberon Geller, Esquire, Albert Cloudsley. Okay. And then we've got a knife. Hey, what's up, Sekinor? I'm really sorry, y'all. Just to be clear for everyone, yeah, let me change the information on his. I don't want anybody coming out. Oh, I don't know. 
I'm not. I'm sorry. Oh, Rocket Soup already beaten at this to me. I'm sorry that if you're here for Ragnarok, I have a capture card issue that has made me so enraged. It gave me a little bit of heartburn. So Kaiser, welcome. Garuda. Okay, so we have a dagger, a pipe, and this. Now, I don't know what we're supposed to be doing here. So we have this guy. Ah! He's got a scalpel. He's got a medicine bottle. He's got... This clue has been added to the thinking panel. Okay, the ruins of Xenopolis. Xenopolis. Horn of finger. Horn thumb. So I can pick out things maybe to ask people about. Bay of shadows. Okay, what's this? Both parties agreed to these terms for the expedition to Monkey Paw Island. Albert Cloudsley has right to two thirds of all valuables. Abraham Geller has rights to one third of all valuables. And he, okay, so this is the same thing. Oberon Geller, Albert Cloudsley. So they both have the same thing. Is there anything different here? Sick of Ragnarok. Well, everybody has been playing Ragnarok. I, I cannot wait to play it. I'm going to play the whole damn thing. I think it took 12 streams for us last time. We will do all of them. And we will finish it by the end of the year. Because after next week, I can go back to my three times a week streaming. Except for like the weeks where my daughter is not in school. Um, let's see. Where's a clue place to go and try out for something? If they see my face, I'm hired. Stone Golem, that's not how it works. Okay. So I think this looks like the same thing. Okay, so then let's go here. And we've got two backpacks. We've got the tobacco pack patch and a cleaning pipe. All right. And then we've got two bags filled with coins and gems. And so we've got... So this guy must be the guy who has two thirds, right? And so we have a bag of medical instruments and some medicine and a golden statue with a red stone and a bag filled with coins and gems. So if I were gonna, so it seems as if the guy with the scalpel is dying, is being pushed over, right? So that means that he is the guy with one third and this guy with the pipe who's pushing this guy off the ledge is, is the um, one-third guy. I knew you were plotting, you snake. Hmm. So is this guy crazy? Is he suspect something of this guy? The one-third is the doctor. Yes, the dead guy has a scalpel. Oh, thank you, Drop Queen Queen. I take it Sandeep would not be able to help with the problem. He's very good at puzzles. So, I don't know exactly what we're supposed to do in this game, but let's figure it out. Thinking. Oh, okay. Uh, a cliff in the... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So we gotta do... Oh, we have to look... Okay. Pushed from a cliff in the bonk bonk of Monkey Paw Island. So this one right here is Oberon Geller, right? So can I drag it? Oberon Geller and Albert Cloudsley, right? This is correct. Okay, Oberon, okay. When a scroll is completely filled in, words can be dragged directly to the slot. All right. Oh, okay. Um, so basically, this one, Albert Cloudsley, Oberon Geller. So we know that, right? Hey, what's up, Robert Woodward? I had a good day. Now, we don't know where they... Okay, so this is the problem. Well, let's see. Let's look back at. Okay, so we're seeing two little islands over here, right? So two little islands in the background to the left. So it looks like that must be these two islands. And so um, the Bay of Shadows is over here. The Horn of Thumb. So they're in the Horn of Thumb, right? And the Horn of Thumb. Aha! 
Yeah, we did it. While Dr. Oberon Geller was surveying the poor weather with his looking glass, his expedition partner, Albert Cloudsley, Esquire, suddenly pushed him off the cliff. Okay, great. Chapter one. Ooh, this should be fun. Complications in the family. An abert, a dr okay, so here we go. An untimely passing of a rural gentleman. All right, this is maybe what I needed tonight. You know what I'm saying? It is a reference to Monkey Island. Monkey Paw Island. Has anybody played the new Monkey Island? I... I have not, and I'm really sad about that. Chill games are the best games. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm so sad. I was so excited to play Ragnarok. It worked perfectly before. I'm wondering if maybe... but the it's exactly what happened before, and I think it was a mess Do up. You wanna date my I don't even know if it's a, a, a game capture card problem or an exploit problem, but because OBS is suddenly not operating well either, I need to have Adam log on maybe tomorrow morning and help me set up OBS. Because I want an alternative. Sandeep is online now. Oh, is he streaming? We're doing good. We're doing good. Okay. Oh no, we got another dead guy. Okay, we got a lot of things for clicking. Oh, there's a horse that just ran by with no person on it. A yacht is slowly floating in the river. This is some kind of, oh, it's the golden idol, it's the golden statue, right? And look, there's something in the back of it. Do you see that? Isn't this the golden statue that, that got stolen? Um, okay, let's see, um, thanks for everything you did to bring Charlie to life. Thank you, Tishori, Tishoru, Tishori, 88, thank you. All right, so what's this? This clue has been added to the thinking panel. So this is some kind of jacket. Looks got some mud on it. It looks like a yachting jacket, right? We also have this. Sebastian I, Sebastian Cloudsley, will share my humble contribution to the science of anatomy and chemistry. So maybe this is like the son of the person who killed that guy. Okay, so what year was the last one? Hmm. Woke up, beautiful day, washed and dressed in my dining attire, had a beautiful roast duck for lunch, changed to my hunting attire, rode to hunt badgers, had no luck today and returned home, changed to my researching attire, changed my dining attire. Had a tasty beef loin for supper, filled in my diary and went to bed to continue reading for my research. That was 8.30. Okay. Um, okay. Anatomy and science. I thought it was 1742. Well, it seems, yes, it was, Cleesmill. This must be his son. Um, so this is like the descendant. This clue has been added to the thinking panel. Hmm. They love... Oh, the mystery... Guys, the, the name of the game is the, the Case of the Golden Idol, so... Let's see this right here. A tall, rickety ladder. Oh, it's August 23rd right now. So, and it's daytime. August 22nd. Okay, okay, okay. So he must have gone, is this his bed? What's going on here? It was 1742. Thank you, Victor. We, have we acknowledged the dead man on the bed? Yeah, Chimera, we're going to get there. Oh, look at this. Henry Clover, lead poisoning. Lead poisoning. I don't know the symptoms of lead poisoning, but... All right. Um, and then I guess we go here. This clue has been added to the thinking panel. The man is not breathing. His head is badly wounded. And we have a ring over here. A ring with a ruby on it. Does that match this one? Did he take a ruby out of the back of it? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. 
Oh, thank you, G Flamix. Okay, let's see. Um, hmm. So let's see this. He went writing in this. Wait, let's see. Uh, let's see. Washed and dressed in my dining attire. Changed to my dining attire. Researching attire. Changed to my hunting attire. So is this, and there's, oh, a horse is running in the yard. Wait, we haven't done this yet either. Was his name a clue? Woodshire, Cloward, Clowerton, and Blackfield. Hmm. This is interesting, guys. His name has to be a clue, yeah, right? Um, well, the only place we have anything where we, okay, so he must be in Blackfield, guys, because there's a yacht there. I mean, that's pretty obvious. There's no other, wall. it can't be Woodshire or Crow Tower because there's a yacht out front. So this must be this house. By the water, yeah, Blackfield. So let's see. Passed away, Lord of something, passed away in his bed. The cause of death was which his curb when he fell from a... While he was researching. Hmm. Well, who's this guy? It's got to be. Did I get the guy's name? Let's see. Did I get the guy's name? Sebastian Cloudsley. Sorry, I didn't get his name in here. Spontaneous combustion. Okay. So it's got to be Sebastian Cloudsley, right? We don't have any other people that we could, we could put in here. Okay, I'll die. So we got Sebastian Cloudsley, Lord of Blackfield, right? Love these kind of games back in the day. The cause of death, which occurred when he fell from a ladder. Well, it's got to be a ladder while he was researching, right? How could he fall from a ladder, though? Which attire was this? Let's see. Wait, 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 wait. Um, you're right. Let's figure out what attire this is. Washed and dressed in my dining attire. Filled in my diary and went to bed to continue reading for my research. Well, did he change back? Dining attire must be the one in the picture. He could have fallen from the horse, but then somebody would have... You're, I mean, it must be his hunting attire, y'all. He died in researching attire. Really? Really, though? Yeah, 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 but the, the horse is freaking him out. The horse is freaking out. Why is the horse freaking out with, with, with a saddle on, y'all? With a saddle on. Watch the horse. So we have this. The horse is saddled. He died in his dining attire. Compared the pictures. Do no, that's not his dining attire. Look. My oh, you're right. You're right. This does look like his dining attire. It's just a different color, right? Ish. Okay, he does chemistry, you're right. Anatomy and chemistry, and this feels like maybe a research jacket because he's got a, okay, he's got researching stuff here. This is not his research jacket. This is not his, re this is his research jacket. So he did not die in his research jacket. So is, this is either the hunting jacket. Now I'm, I'm thinking that maybe, why would his horse be freaking out out there? That doesn't make any sense. He must have died hunting. That's what I'm feeling like. Lead poisoning. That would have been a research thing. A tall rickety ladder. Changed in my researching attire. Filled in my diary. Yeah, I think this is his hunting attire. I don't think he fell off the ladder. Also, a ring with a ruby is off of his hand. There's an item on the top bunk. Headwind when he fell off a horse.
There is blood all the way out here, y'all. Starcrayer Phoenix, I did not. Good night. Thank you so much. Hey, Maverick. It comes from outside, y'all. Okay, you're right. You're right. He fell off his horse. He had to fall off his horse. So this must be his, this must be his hunting attire. This must be his hunting attire, right? The cause of death was a head wound, which occurred when he fell from a horse while he was hunting. Oh, I did it! Well, the Lord of Blackfield was hunting. His horse threw him off and he suffered a deadly wound to the head. We did it! All right. Well, if we're not being able to play Ragnarok tonight. I can't do... Okay, just FYI for anybody who needs to um, leave. I cannot stream tomorrow afternoon because I have to do press for MS23K Turkey Day. So unfortunately, that's what's taking up my um, streamy shot slot. But to, uh, Tuesday night, I would love to Tuesday night. I would love to um, do an extra stream. So I'm going to put that in my calendar. Stream. So Tuesday night, Friday night, Sunday night next week. Okay, three nights. Just FYI, sorry, Europe. Okay. Hope tomorrow goes well. Yeah, it's just press. But, you know, since I'm hosting the Turkey Day Marathon, which is going to be very fun with Cynthia, it's going to be really fun. Uh, this is okay. I'm just hoping that I, I can get the PS5 to work. I don't know. I'm going to ask Adam to please, please help me set up OBS so at least it's an all viable alternative. Okay. Let's do it. The Cursed Inheritance. The Murder at the Little Mermaid. Ooh! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, it seems like we have two. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, wow, this is bigger. Okay. Well, this guy is, tell me, what does that man have that I lack? He has a handful of cards. He's got seven pence. He's got a key and a rapier, a small sword. Okay. I am sad I had to work during the two days for Tuesday on Thursday. I wish I could listen to it. Oh, Speaker of the Dead, it should be up. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I forgot to upload it. I will upload it. Rocket, I'll have to find the download link again. I'm so sorry. Um, yes, I'll upload it to the archives. Okay, this lady. Be calm, John. He's a perfect gentleman. He bought me a drink and then retired upstairs. A handful of cards. A two shillings and five pence, a key, a stiletto blade, and to Annie, you are beautiful like a rose. For you, I will take any blows. Annie, you are like a glass of wine. Your hair is very fine. I will find the gold in a mine if it makes you forever mine. Your piglet full of love. Hmm, piglet. And this guy, okay, so this guy's John. All right. You're behind on a few geek sessions. Oh, Rocket. Am I really? I'm sorry. I'll get him up there. Just deal the next one. It's all luck anyway. All right. This guy has three shillings, two pence, cards, a key, a dagger. Remember you, as an agent of our trading company, you have to reflect its values to the fullest. Never be late. The client leaves the port on the 10th. Be so persuasive. Do not take no for an answer. You must get the client's product. Be effective. Once you have the product, deliver it to me immediately with the servant boy. Most importantly, no matter what you do, be mindful of our reputation. Our remains must be remain spotless. Okay. This is cool. I guess that's the murder by part. And the Mer Little Mermaid Inn. Amazing Evans. Musical performance on September 9th. Events shall commence circa 11 p.m. So this says the client leaves the port on the 10th. So this, this must be the guy performing. This is amazing Evan. Oh, mother, forgive me. I will never gamble with something so dear to me again. A folding Navaha folded blade, a key, 
a violin. Okay, so right now it's around 11. Okay. Don't listen to two days at work. Okay. Can we still sign up for geeks? Kaiser Inks, you may. You may. Um, we are still doing all the hangouts and everything. It is, um, the platform is having a lot of problems. I will just be frank with you. Uh, but since the membership is so very inexpensive, I think it would be like two, three dollars. <laughs> if you'd like to come and join in, you're welcome to. Um, I'm not sure that the coin discord thing works quite like it should. So if you have any problems, just post again in the coin join thread and we will manually make you part of the geek community. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm really sorry, J. Roby. It's technical problems. I don't know why. Wanted, Robert Rethred. Redruth, escaped convict. Okay. Tab, Green, Branch, Blair. Okay, four gallons of wine? What does that mean? I don't even know what those are. Are those people? It's 33 cents right now, yeah. So 20 geeks would be approximately... Seven dollars? I have no idea. I'm not on the, I'm not on the run. No, I mean, I did an experiment with the creator coin. The platform's having issues. I certainly delivered product to everybody who decided to become a member, and that's all I wanted to do. Play around in something that I wanted to learn around, and try to do it as morally as possible. And I think we're still doing that. Oh, thirty gigs equals thirty-three cents. Yeah, so you could, you could join, you could join gigs for thirty-three cents, y'all. Um, yeah, so it's very affordable right now, but the people who paid a higher price have been getting weekly hangouts and other things, um, for a year now. So I don't feel bad necessarily. Anybody coming along new, you definitely got a bargain. Okay. So we have this September 9th, Dandelion Room, Willard Wright, and Forget Me Not Room, Ash Blair. Why can't I? Oh, Blair already had that. The tab. Uh oh. Oh, so this this might be the people. Hmm. All right. So we've got Annie and John. We got no name here. We got Evans. We got where did the blasted boy go? I really need to piss. We got a butcher large kitchen knife. We got a partially peeled lemon. We got all the keys. Dear Oscar Boyton, it has come to our attention that the good owner of the Little Mermaid offers services to those who want to transfer products that are less agreeable to the authorities. I will come by in three days. I will come. If you still have some spare space in your gin barrels and are willing to return when to earn extra money, reach out to me. Okay, so this is September 8th, but it is the 9th today. Blair's tab is one glass of wine. Okay, so Blair took one glass of wine. Brag took three glasses of wine and green took four. We don't know who they are. We know this guy's John and that's Annie. Your piglet full of love. Piglet. Hmm. Is anybody's name kind of a piggy, piggy name? Oscar Boynton? No. All right. Let's, uh, the door to the street is shut with a latch. Okay. I think I got everything here. That is quite a Robert Redworth. I don't know, man. Okay, so this the innkeeper. We don't know this if this is the innkeeper or not. We're gonna we could assume it. Okay, so Blair had okay, one glass of wine, and then Willard Wright. So we don't know who that is. Could be this guy. All right, well let's go upstairs. So we have a door. The door does not open. And we have uh, dandelion room. Okay, so that's the dandelion room. So who's in the dandelion room? Willard Wright. So Ash Blair is supposed to be in the this one. A trapdoor's in the ceiling. Uh-oh, what's this? Why did that bugger give me a note when he knows damn well I can't read? An old rusty half of shears. A piece of stale bread. You can lie low for a couple of days in the old oarsman's place down at the docks. Um, hmm. 
Okay. Okay. Um, all right, we got this guy. This is shut. Flat shut. Let's see. An empty bed, not warm. Trap door. Okay. So basically, this is, that's the forget-me-not room. Ash Blair is in the forget-me-not room. Uh, oh, yeah, we didn't look on the table. This clue has been added to the thinking panel. Okay, so they all have one glass of wine. And we have a, a, a note here. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. So we've got AG, which is Annie. William Wright, M-E, we don't know who that is, we, wait, who's this guy? Robert Rudris, okay. Annie Green, that's it, Annie Green, oh, it must be Green, you're right, because she's got Annie Green, four, wow, four glasses of wine, Annie's, Annie's into it, um, Jay Brieg, Okay, so I don't know who these people are. This was earlier. I assume that they're... So this is Annie Green, John Brigg, and A.B. A.B., which would be Ash Blair. Okay, so this is the guy who's staying in the room upstairs. She's having a night, yeah. W.W. is Willard Wright. You're totally right. Willard Wright. Now, where did we see Willard Wright's name before? Evan, do we have, did Evan maybe play something with them? Nope. WW is Willard Wright. Um, so Ash Blair is this guy right here who needs to go and persuade people to do the docs. This guy is Oscar Boynton and he didn't, he didn't play anything. OB, oh yeah, he played. Oscar. Okay, so Annie Green and John M. Evans. His room was the dandelion room. Oh, okay, so Willard Wright is the dead guy. Okay, so this is the dead revenge. A trap door is in the ceiling. The door does not open. There's a key in the door. Um, there's a dead guy. He's bleeding out. The man is not breathing. Ah, ring with a ruby. A walking cane. Mm. He has a watch to my dear Maurice. That's weird. The watch is ticking. So, the watch should be accurate. So, it's... 2.25 in the morning? Hmm. To my dear Maurice. Uh, what's this? Oh, that's the idol. That's the idol. Maybe Willard Wright is not the dead person. You're right. My dear Maurice, Maurice Evans. Oh, Maurice Evans. Uh-oh, let's look at this. We got Green, we got Brig, and we got Blair. So this must be John Brig. That's, that's these guys right here. This is the bartender and the two who are sitting there. And there, here's Annie Green, W.W., and Maurice Evans. Okay. Hey, what's up, Splattercat? Well, let's go see. We had another... Oh, here we go. We have a washing bowl filled with slightly bloody water. That's weird. Dear proud beast master, I have attended our departed brother's send-off and accepted the keepsake that he bestowed upon our brotherhood in the will. I shall send this letter tomorrow, September 10th. I hope it will reach you without delay. Already it is midnight. I will retire to my bed for this has been a long day. May Griffon awake. Proud Beast Initiate. 
I have attended our dear parted brother's send-off and accepted the keepsake his, he bestowed upon our brotherhood in his will. Whoa. We, yeah, it's a cult. Um, slightly buddy, bloody water. That's weird. Uh-oh. Shards of glass lie in the mud. Alarm, alarm, a break-in! Watchman's lantern. Watchman's spear. Watchman's alarm rattle. Watchman number two, Henry Parker. What in the world? There's a lot to unwrap right now. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this guy. Why did that bugger give me a note when he knows I damn well can't read? This guy could have maybe... You can lie low for a couple days in the old oarsman's place down at the docks. Oh, that's the guy! Guys, guys, guys! Do you see that guy's face? That's that guy. Okay, so Robert Rutherford is outside. This is that guy. This is the guy who's 50 pounds. Look at that face. Robert Redruth. Okay, so that's Robert Redford. Initials RR. Now, where did we see the Where did we see the initials anywhere? Hmm. Where do we see those initials? Oh, Revenge RR. Oh. <gasps> Y'all, okay, so he just killed this guy. He just killed this guy. So he broke in. And he probably stole the idol. Or someone's framing him. Well, this is William. He's got a walking cane and he's got the ruby with the ring. The man is not breathing. He's definitely dead. Okay. But he's holding... So he's holding a walking cane and his ring. So it looks like maybe he was doing some kind of... To my dear Maurice. Is that the guy who, who just died? Hmm. I know. It feels like somebody should be framing him, but I don't know. I will never gamble with something so dear to me again. A violin. Annie Green has had four glasses of wine. John Brieg has had three. And Blair has only had one. That makes sense. Because he just got here. I don't know why. We got Willard Wright in the dandelion room. So that's him, right? He's dead. Why does he have a lemon? Who knows? Oscar Boynton is to come to our... Okay, so he did, had the smuggling. Why does the violinist have a key? Must be Maurice and he gambled away the watch. Oh! Maurice Evans! That's it! Maurice Evans! Let's see, look. Maurice Evans! And he gambled away to William... William, uh, whether, uh, William Wright. Okay. But he didn't kill him. The lady's shoulder is yellow. That was her. Be calm, Johnny. He was a perfect gentleman. He brought me a drink and then retired upstairs. To Annie, you are beautiful like a rose. For you, I will take any blows. Annie, you are like a glass of wine. Your hair is very fine. I will find gold in a mine if it makes you forever mine. Your piglet full of love. Everybody's got a key. I don't know why everyone has a key, but it could be a key to another thing. This guy, tell me, what is that man that I have, have that I lack? So he could be the piglet. Willard Wright. Yeah, Willard Wright is it. Okay, so this is Annie Green. Annie Green. Where are the green? Hmm. Okay, Willard right um henry parker right henry parker 
This is Robert Redruth. This is Oscar Boynton. This is Maurice Evans. This one is John Bragg. Okay, here we go. Green. And this guy is the same. Blair. What was his name? Ash Blair, right? Ash. Oh, look at that. Okay. We got them all. Okay. This one is Annie Green. This is William Wright. I should have done this all along. Maurice Evans. And this is Annie Green. Didn't it say I could just drag things? I don't know. Okay, whatever. And this one's Annie Green, too. This is John Brigg. And the same guy. It's John Brigg and John Brigg. And this one is Ash Blair. And this one is Oscar Boynton, the owner. Everything's filling correctly! I was able to click the door behind the innkeeper, yes. So, okay, William Wright's room through the, while John, oh, well, a fight ensued upstairs with a, oof, okay, wait, all right, while, okay, so this is where I'm confused, through the window. Well, I think that it was when these guys were playing, right? Because basically it's 2.30 in the morning, so this guy would have been playing violin for hours. The window was broken. Why would it be in through the window and out the trap door, though? Why would... Why would he, the door to the street is, is shut with a latch. So nobody was coming in, I guess. But they said, this guy started playing at 11. And they've been drinking a lot of wine. Because the rooms upstairs are locked. Well... It feels like Arthur Bree or uh, Ash Blair came in, put his coat off, and then he left. But I don't think he has anything to do with this guy. Hmm. The only thing is, you're kind of, and it's kind of interesting. Because it could have been this guy. Well, he's got, he's the one who knows the thing down. He leaves the port. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Remember you as an agent of our trading company have to reflect its values to the fullest. Never be late. The client leaves the port on the 10th. Be persuasive. Okay. Wait a minute, y'all. The servant boy is gone. Uh, the glass was on the outside, so the window was broken from the inside. Oh, you're right. Speaker for the dead. The guy outside is in the killer. He says he can't read, therefore he couldn't write the revenge RR. Oh, Kaiser, good one. I'm just wondering if this of our trading company, is the trading company the cult? The client leaves the port? The latch is shut, so it's closed. Oh, you're right, Cleves Mill. This feels like, do not take no for an answer. We must get the client's product. Once you have the product, deliver it to, with me immediately with the servant boy. What are you mindful of a reputation? So... And he, here, he's like, 
Where did the busted boy go? Went up one trap door, down the other, killed the victim, watched his hand the bowl, and went out through the window. Yeah. You're right. Well, the door is un the window is unlatched, but yeah, why is the shards of glass in the mud? Watchman's lantern. Watchman's alarm rattle. Watchman's spear. The product is the idol. I think you're right. I think you're right, y'all. A fight ensued upstairs. So Willard Wright was the guy who was through the trap door. Okay, so Ash Blair, I agree with you. I think Ash Blair clipped into William Rice's room through the draft door while, oh no, because Willie, <sighs> he made the servant boy take it, but he didn't actually go through the window. Well, that's the question. Crept into William Rice's window, so he must have been there early, maybe? While Annie Green... Obviously, Annie Green and John Brigg and, oh, no, 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 no. I think, hmm, yeah, it's, you think it was Oscar, John, and Oscar? Well, where, no, 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 because Willard Wright, no, it had to be before Willard Wright went upstairs. With loud music. No, if it, if it was loud music, if it was loud music, then it had to be between b while they were doing this. Oscar was not going to the trap room. Okay, it has to be because if the music was playing, then obviously it couldn't be the violinist because the violinist was playing, and. Willard, Willard Wright got stabbed with a, well, that's the question. What did he stab him with? Oh, a dagger. Must be a dagger, right? Oh, he did it. A man going by the name of Ash Blair crept into Willard's room through the trap door to steal something important. But when he opened the music box, it woke Willard up in a fight. Oh, he was sleeping. In the fracas, Ash stabbed Willard in an attempt to frame an escaped convict. Oh. Ooh, look at this. <gasps> Sebastian Cloudsley. Oh. I don't know what just happened. Hmm. That's the guy who killed the guy in the beginning, right? We should open a PI firm. Exactly. Um, next chapter. Okay. Oh, what's this? The scroll has been fulfilled. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. So this guy was Albert Cloudsley. This guy was Lord of Blackfield. And this guy... Oh. Okay. What? I gotta play all of them. Well, we're gonna have to just unlock it. That's probably the end of the demo. Well, I'm just going to have to buy the whole thing then. Chapter one, complications of the family, a dramatic portrait of an outsider. I mean, I'm really upset that I can't play Ragnarok, but this is a really nice kind of... Whoa! Okay. This is something. There's 87 chapters. Well, highly recommend it all. It's a very good game. Okay. Spare me, devil! I was simply following orders! Astonishing Monkey Man, property of Pear Brothers. Okay. A knife. I was simply following orders, devil. Um, wow. A scorched knife, ouch! A scorched horse brush. Okay. We got a, a sword on the ground, we got some of this stuff going on. 
Worth to know that the chapters three and four swapped to the demo versus the whole game. Oh, interesting. It's medieval murder, she wrote. What the blazes? I mean, literal blazes. August Jockey Club Derby. Race three, winning Sul Rage and Sultan. Play show wager 35 pounds. Okay. Now, if it's all the same to you, I will take my leave. Um, there's a dude that's on fire, y'all. Worth effort, I have a problem with my capture card. I don't know if it's my computer or uh, my software that I use to stream. I don't know. It's just, I've got a headache. So I'm going to be streaming Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. So three Ragnarok streams next time. 35 pounds is a lot of money. Yeah. All right. One pound, two shillings, two, one pence. Oh, he's got the ring with the ruby. Spontaneous combustion. To perform the combustion trick, you must first cast a freezing spell. The sacred glyphs for combustion on the idol. Ooh. I think I saw those on the back of the aisle. Ooh, God. Okay. Oh. And he's, oh, look at this. And look, the gem is not red anymore. So maybe he used the idol to throw, because it usually is red, right? So if he presses hook, zero, triangle, hook, zero, triangle, and does that, maybe he can, ooh, boy. He used a charge of the idol, yeah. Hmm, interesting. Ash Blair! Finest tobacco. Pre prepare the carriage for tomorrow. We are to visit my nephew, E.C. Two shillings and a penny. Dagger. A saddlebag. Hmm. Okay. Stable rota for Adam and James. Horse grooming. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay. So this guy was a groomer. So this guy was definitely grooming something. So if we could figure out what day it was, um, is this from today? Race three. Okay, we don't have any information about what day it is. What an unexpected turn of events. Hey, welcome, Prof Professor Moto. Sadly, I'm not playing Ragnarok. I was looking forward to it all weekend. I, but okay, okay, this is EC. What an unexpected turn of events. Didn't we just see an EC? Wait. We are to prepare the carriage for tomorrow. We have to visit my nephew. So, could this be, could this be the guy who is preparing this guy's carriage? Dear Edmund, it has reached my attention that you are seeking a capable new servant. I have just the man for you. David Gorin is an experienced coachman with a diverse set of talents that I'm sure you will find very useful. If you are displeased with his services, do not hesitate to know, let me know yours, Theo. Stiletto? Oh. Monday, September 7th, the 1786. Lord Edmund, Edmund Cloudley's. Ah. Wait. David Gorman. Oh, this is his speech. Okay. So this must be Ed Edmund Cloudsley. And this must be David, his coachman. And it must be Monday. So this is James. What's that? Oh, they're at a place... Some kind of dragon place. Wait, let me see what the thinking is. So this is Edmund Cloudsley. This is, I suspect, David Gorin. This is James. And we don't know who anybody else is. Pear? Oh, Pear. Okay. Did you see? Oh. Oh, wow. Outplayed. Very jealous. What about S.H. Blair? Ash Blair. Well, 
this is just finest tobacco. We don't know if this is Ash Blair or not. Um, Ash Blair could have written, wait, who? No, Theo. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Batley, Cloudsley, Kubert. So, okay, this is, um, so this is the Batley house, right? Fat Lord, pair twins. Okay, I can't. Oh, okay, so it's, oh, Adam and James Pear, Fat Lord. Okay, so we got, it would be James Pear. So the, the twins are Pear, okay. Stanley Cloudsley. Um, no, this one is, um, A and J were the stable hands, yeah. Adam and James Pear. Adam must be the scary guy. Spare me, devil. I was simply following orders. Astonishing monkey man, property of the Pear Brothers. And this is Adam. Look, this has an A on it. And this one has, you can't make it out, but it looks kind of like a J. Anyway, okay. So this is Adam. So this one's Adam Pear. All right. It looks like a J. Yeah, you're right. All right, let's see what's going on in here. She's, my apologies, it can be such a, a bad deer sometimes. Six rings with various stones. We do not have a red ring because somebody else has that. Four pounds. A fan. An ornamented guitar blade. Wow, she's more interesting. Shamal Bhatt Simhasana Batisi. Wow. Okay, it feels like maybe she's looting something. Um, I haven't seen Chapel Wait. I have not outplayed. I don't. Oh, Emily Blunt. Yeah, I heard that's really cool. The, uh, the new Western. Nicholas Maker, attorney. Oh, that's one of the guys out here, right? This is Nicholas Maker. Or no, maybe not. Okay. One of these guys is Nicholas Maker, one of the attorneys. Or maybe it's this guy. I wouldn't have expected one of your family to treat a legal document in such a way. I'm appalled. Oh, here's the ring. Rendings of the last will and testament of Sebastian Cloudsley. Um, Albert Cloudsley and Mary Cloudsley. Edmund Cloudsley. Rose Cutbert, married. Sebastian Cloudsley, testate. Beatrix Batley, Peter Batley. William Wright, associate. Willard Wright, associate. What? Wait a minute. All four inheritors, all present. So she's got to be Rose Kubert, right? Rose Kubert. But she's the only woman here. So we could do Rose Kubert here. Rose. Where's her last name? Kubert. Hmm. He's still alive? I thought he was the one who died. Yeah, that's what I thought. Maybe it was a different one. Nicholas Maker. So this guy is really... He kind of is acting like, so he's the one who must be, he must be the attorney, Nicholas Maker. So he's got to be the attorney. This guy. So now we know that if we, so we've got El Edmund Cloudsley. That was the one guy, right? Edmund Cloudsley. We have that guy. Then we've got her. Then we got Willard Wright and Peter Batley. So those two, associate, question mark? This is canonically before the previous chapter, I see. Oh, yeah. Interesting. So Willard Wright is the guy who got killed. Oh, somebody said that they, they mixed up the chapters. Okay.
Well, she could be Beatrix Batley, I guess, but because we're able to click on a woman and there's a woman there, I'm going to just use my deductive thinking. So we've got William Wright, Willard Wright, and we've got um, Willard Wright and Peter Batley. Let's see. Sebastian Cloudsley, collection of aphorisms, how to be happy. Eat a hearty meal every day and do not waste your trivial wait time on trivialities. How to best be upset? Strive for that which holds meaning and does not shirk from do not shirk from responsibilities. Beatrix is not present. Yeah. How to be inspired? Take a walk from your for in your forest and breathe some fresh air. How to avoid being scared? Being scared is a weakness. Be strong instead. Okay. Whatever collection of aphorisms. Um, and we got one more. Oh, look at this. Spinning Jenny, 50 pounds. Whoa! Um, okay, whoever this is, the guy, dear Peter Batley, we have sent you frequent reminders considering the settlement of your debt, and yet to date, the debt remains unpaid. We humbly request that you make your payments as soon as possible, or we will be forced to take matters in our own hands. The debt currently stands at 255 pounds. Oh. So, this guy is Batley. This guy is Batley. This guy is Batley, Peter Batley, right? That's got to be Peter Batley. Because he was here. Okay, and then what else we got in here? Yeah, he's he's basically lives here. This is the Batley house. How much money does this person have? Um... I, Sebastian Clausley of Blackfoot, be in bold health and sound and disposing mind and memory, nominate and appoint Nicholas Maker as executive of my will. Okay. So basically, they ripped up the will. Dear Willard Wright, Rose Cutbert, I want you to put your sharp mind to better use than mere politics. Therefore, I bequeath to you the notes from the research I have undertaken on astronomy. I grant you leave to finish and publish it under both of our names. Oh, so he's telling his brother, um, uh, Cloudsley, Edmund Cloudsley, he gave him the research papers. This clue has been added to the thinking pattern. My, my dear late sister, your financial troubles, I resolved to help long ago. I bequeath compilation of my aphorisms. Oh, so he gave, he gave Batley the aphorisms. So he gave... Oh, wow. Spontaneous combustion. Suddenly, James Pear. Uh, in Sebastian's will, right? And ordered. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Garuda. To take the idol, maybe? Oh, look. There's still material to be discovered. Okay. My dear late sister, I want you to put your sharp mind to better use to better politics. Dear Will of Wright and Rose Cuthbert. Ah. I bequeath you the golden isle of Xenopolis. You will know what to do with it. We so rarely, after economies, bequeath you my savings, my land, and the Blackfield House Manor. Oh, wow. Okay, so I think I got the whole address to... Okay, this is addressed to Edmund Blakely, right, uh, Cogsley. Addressed to Peter, Peter Batley. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. This is, the, I've got it on the bottom here. Hmm. We, okay, so she's got a bunch of stuff. So it's got to be her, right? Rose. Kubert? Is this right? What do you think? Oh, filled in correctly. Okay, so this one's William Wright, right? Um, 
Willard Wright. Willard Wright? Okay, okay, okay. Idol. Oh no, wait. Uh was Hmm. Okay, now something somebody was something, oh happy, scared, inspired or upset. Upset to, re to retreat, receive aphorisms in Sebastian Cloudsley's will and ordered to take the, hmm, hmm. Yeah, my dear late sister, your mother disclosed your Hmm. We so met rarely after you left for the colonies. Well, but that makes sense that it was Rose. She left for the colonies. She's got all this sort of from over the, over, she's definitely left for the colonies. So I'm kind of confused as well. Batley, Cloudsley, Cut, Kubert. Fat Lord. So this is the Batley guy. And this is, this is, so we know that what he's doing. And this is William Wright. Now, if it's all the same to you, I will take my leave. A ring, a ruby with ring, a pound, shilling. Okay, so he's got the idol now. What the blazes? Hmm. Willard Wright is the idol guy, but this is... And this guy is... Prepare the carriage for tomorrow. We are visit to visit my nephew. Well, that makes sense because we have the... My nephew. He, this guy. So this is his nephew. This guy's nephew. So this is Peter Batley's house. I would not have expected one of your family to treat a legal document in such a way. I am appalled. So one of these people, not Rose. Somebody tore up the will and threw it in the fire. So that's what we have to figure out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so it actually is, so obviously it's not Rose. She didn't cut it up. So it's either aphorisms or an idol. It wouldn't be an idol. He wouldn't be upset to receive an idol. Um, so either Edmund Cloudsley is upset about research or... Peter Batley is upset about <sighs> upset to receive and an ordered to take the will. Where's the will? Hmm. We need a we need a will. Oh, take the um, idol from. Hmm. The di that guy, David Gore, and later kills Willard Wright to get the di idol staying at the end of a fake name. Oh. Peter tore up the will because he didn't get any money. Yeah, I agree with you. It has to be Peter. Peter Batley was upset to receive amorphisms in Sebastian Claude's will and ordered to take the idol... Idol from William, from William Wright. Suddenly, and then he ordered the pair brothers to take the idol. Okay, it just has to be the, the brothers. 
Oh, got it! Peter Batley, encumbered by his gambling debts, had placed high hopes on his uncle's testament of a discovering he had inherited nothing but a book of aphorisms. He tore up the will and ordered his servants to take the golden statue from the stranger world. One of the fervents burst into flame. All right. It is satisfying. Oh! We hope you enjoyed the demo. Well, we have amazing news for you. Case thing the oh, will be... Casting Golden Isles release date will be, I think it came out in November. No, it didn't. It came out in October. Yay. Okay. Well, I mean, we have to go get the rest of the game, right? Okay. I'll go buy it. Golden. Case of the Golden Isle. Yep, it's fine. I'll buy it. It's worth it. Let's buy it right now. Download. Buy the Case of the Golden Isle. I don't want the soundtrack. Why would I ever want soundtrack? Ever. Anybody's like, wow, I can't wait to get that game soundtrack. God of War is pretty good, actually. We're installing it, guys. It only takes 500 meg. All right, there we go. All right, where is it? Can I not? Oh, do I have to close it? Here it is. All right, let's get this going on. I still want to play Ragnarok. Okay, just a second. Just a second. It's full screen. I got to change the... There we go. I need to... Okay. All right, here we go. Right here. Oh, here we go. Great. All right. Um, oh, do we have to do a new game? Oh, <gasps> we have to do this again? Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll do it really fast. That's terrible. Ugh. Really? We gotta do this all the way again? Ugh. We just have to click everything. Okay. Point of thumb. Okay, we could get this. We got this. We got this. We know how to do this. It's it's only three guys. Okay, let's see. Then we got this one. Hey, what's up? All right, and we got this, and then we got this, and then we got this horse. Okay. Okay, Blackfield. And we got Monday, okay. Okay, and we're dining, attire, hunting. Okay, research. Okay, so we need, we got Sebastian Cloudsley. Lord of Blackfield. The cause of death was a fell from a horse while he was hunting. All right, we just gotta go back to head wound. All right, and there's that. Okay. Wow, we really do this fast when we know what we're doing. There we go. Okay. Um. Okay. All right, let's go back. How do I get out of here? Here we go. All right, this is fine. It's just, oh, look. All right, we just need to get some of this stuff. We got this guy. Okay, we got this. Uh, 
Da 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 Sorry guys, didn't know I was gonna have to do this, but that's okay. We're gonna be done in a minute. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. Let's rush through here. Okay, great. We got this. Now let's do this. Uh, Edmund. Okay, Peter Bassley. Peter Batley. Batley was. Oh, we got to do the F morphisms. Okay, happy. Minor detecting Mad Libs would be so much easier. Yep. Was a rate. Upset to receive a morphism in Sebastian Cloudley's will. Okay. And ordered, ah, the Pear Brothers. Where do we get the Pear Brothers' names? To take the idol from William Wright. Willard Wright. Spontaneous combustion. Okay, I think we got to go back outside to do the... Um, since, oh, here it is. Adam and James Pear. Do we have Pear yet? Oh, no, we're about to leave. Where do we get the Pear? Hmm. Oh, it was maybe on the walls? Oh, there we go. Here we go. There we go. All right, here we go. Now, oh, we got to do one more. Okay. And then we do this one, but we know this from Adam's book. Thank you. And now we've got, um, oh, we got to do some exploring. Okay, let's do some clickies. Window. All right. Just gotta click on everything. We'll be done in one minute. Dear Maurice. Okay. He's not breathing. Okay, so that was William Wright, right? Revenge, R R. Okay, do Prabhupada Beast. Okay. Um, oh, we need to get this guy. I don't think we actually needed this guy. Oh, sheer. Okay. Um Evan, Green, okay, and then we got John, and we got Annie, okay, okay, that is, the, okay, that's William Wright right there, or that's uh, the other guy, okay, okay, Ash Blair, there we go, okay. So now that's Ash Blair. Okay, so Ash Blair, Blair crept into William Wright, Willard Wright's, through the trap door while um, Annie Green and John Bragg and Oscar Boyton were playing cards with our music and then Willard Wright got stabbed with a, oh, dagger, right? Yay! Okay, good. Now we're moving on. Moving on! It was five minutes. It felt like 40. Okay, intoxicating dinner party. Oh, look at this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, dead. Oh, that's that woman. The lady's not breathing and her fate is... Oh, that's her. She died. Um, She's missing her book. 
and the weapon that she had last time. This clue has been added to the thinking. Oh, partially eaten beef of roast beef, amber liquor, salad, yellow liquid, salad untouched, cloudy liquid untouched, clear liquid, red wine, cloudy liquid, partially eaten roast. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out who's who. Okay, who was sitting where. This is horrible. Wow, that's some hair. Okay. It's poison. Nobody touch a thing and nobody move. I'll send for the doctor right away. This is this. This is the same dude, Edward uh, Cloud. And we have a heart. We have two keys. Hmm. Felicia's a speed runner now. Sorry. She had six rings. Oh, thank you, Claysmel. Very good observation. Hmm. You killed my aunt, you devil. I should execute you on the spot. Oh, that's Peter Bagley. A pack of cards, two pounds, a fork. Okay, so this is the, these are the people from last time. This is Edward, Cloudley, and Peter. And this is, uh, what's her face? Oh, my lord, this has nothing to do with me. Note to self, if you get frustrated when working, remember the tale about the rich lord who married his donkey and you will feel better. Okay, he's got the same key that, uh, He's got the same keys. Ensure that the beautiful lady sits next to me during dinner and I will slip you a shilling. Oh, okay. Okay, so Peter. So Peter. This guy. Wanted to sit next to this one. This lady. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Look at this. Well, let's go back downstairs. Oh, this is getting more and more complicated. These are our fine coats. What? Little Pip, run to the city and grab me, me some Ash Blair tobacco and a bottle of gin. I will pay you back when I'm back. David. Okay, David is the uh, manservant, right? Manservant? Okay. Pocket. Well, the little Pip just stole a cigar from somebody. An overcoat and a hat. An overcoat and a hat. A box of cigars. Oh, look at this. Dear Miss Richards, I enjoyed your company tremendously when I visited your father last month. I'm certain you would wish to hear the rest of my thoughts on the shortcomings of our society. I invite you and your mother, father, to a dinner on April 8th at my matter. Oh. Okay, this is Ed okay, so this is Edmund Cloudsley's manor. Here, Mary. Dear Mary, here is something for your diary from me. For you, I would fight a tiger and win. Peter Batley. Hmm. Okay, so her name is Mary Richards. That's Mary Richards. And this, of course, is Edmund Cloudsley. This is little Pip. Um, this is Peter, Peter Batley. This is the, the sister. Oh, wow. Okay, so we need to figure out who ate, who sat where. Oh, okay. David Gorin equals Ash Blair. He, he, he wanted the Matt Ash Blair, yeah. Rose Cooper, but we need her name from something. Oh, look at this. A syringe with some liquid left in it. Oh, poison, we say. Okay, okay. Oof. So this must be her father. She does seem rather unwell. It's extremely upsetting. So this is what's his face's fa- uh, So he's got a handkerchief and two keys. He's got the same two keys and an extra little key. So I assume... Push oh, the look button. Uh-oh, look at this. Water. A roast. Salad bowl. Brandy. Amber. Red liquid wine. Lemons. Lemonade. Cloudy. Okay, so somebody over here... Had red wine and brandy. 
This one had lemonade. This one had the tonic. This one had tonic. Untouched. Um, and the cigar. Gotta be Peter, right? Who has the cigars? Hmm. My impulse is that perhaps this is poisoned. Partially empty glass. So, so we have lots of people drinking red wine. Partially empty. Nobody was, nobody was hurt by that. Nobody was hurt by the lemonade. Okay, water is half empty. Full glass. So it's either water was the water was poisoned or the tonic was poisoned. Um, okay. And she, we don't have her name yet. Lady's not breathing and her face is blotched. So she was poisoned. And this is the dad and this is the cloud. Okay. It could be, well, it looks like a partially eaten salad, one partially eaten salad, an untouched salad, partially eaten salad. So two people ate salad and part and partially eaten roast. So two people ate salad and two people ate roast. So whoever this is, they didn't eat anything. They didn't really have their salad. They didn't have this. They did drink water. So she either sat here or here. This is probably the girl. I think that's her because it's lemonade. So lem I think I think she sat here with the lemonade. So Peter is here or this is her dad. So her dad sat here or here. Hmm. Either this person was the sister or this person was the sister. I suspect this is this was the sister. And this is the father. And this is Cloudsley. Peter is top left. You think Peter's right here? Oh, he's holding a fork. Aha! He's holding the fork. Thank you. Okay. So interesting. So it's probably her father sits here, right? And here's, or maybe this is the head of the table. This is Cloudsley. And this is, it's kind of sus that he's not eating anything, but this could be her father. It's weird that he, she wouldn't be seated next to her father. Okay, well, this is Richards. This is Mary Richards. And this is um, somebody Richards. No, no, this is a dad. Richards, but we don't have his, and that's Peter, Peter Batley, and this is Rose, but we don't have her name yet. All right, let's go back. Little Pip probably had the water and the lemonade. Do you think Little Pip was at the table? I don't think so. I think Little Pip is a servant. Oh, but maybe. These sure are fine coats. Expensive cigar. No. I don't think little Pip, I think little Pip is a servant because wait, we have five people. One, two, three, four, five. Edmund was interested in Mary and so was Peter. Ooh, look at this. Oh, there's the golden idol. Okay. Um, we got another safe over here. Peptic tonic. Peptic tonic. Two sealed bottles. Due to the sensitivity of your stomach, I advise abstaining from alcohol for the next month. And also consider a glass of peptic tonic before eating to avoid upsetting your digestive system. And opium too. Now, this has to be Edward Cloudley's house, right? Whose jacket is missing the cigar? I don't know. I don't know about that one. But whoever owns the house was taking the peptic tonic. So let's see. Well, well, Edmund. Yeah, it's Edmund. You seem pretty pleased after the old by passed away and a spot freed up for you in the house of lords. Take care of those with whom you ally. I have many friends and will deal with you swiftly if you dare cross me. 
Lord George Bridges. Ooh. Good night, Kanoe Sensei. Wasn't Little Pip requested to grab a scar for David? Well, David was his servant, so it could be that Little Pip is a servant. The revolution will come for the likes of you, you crooked bastard. Soon you will pay for your sins against their honest common folk with your blood. That's not very nice. Edmund Cloudsley, once more you have failed to answer our requisition. This is the last warning you will receive. Your transgressions against us demand amends. Your only course of action you have is to surrender yourself to our justice. Last chance for a repentant serpent, or we will unleash one of our stewards upon you. Whoa. Hmm. Okay. And last one. Dear uncle, I hear you are interested in Lady Richards. I think you're too old for her. I shall court her instead. Please lend me 300 pounds. I'm in desperate need of it. Okay. Great. So, dear Edmund, the desk cannot continue. Since my return and move to Sebastian's Manor, he has asked for financial support seven times. He's clearly unable to take monetary responsibility, but I need your help, my dear brother. So we got Close Cuthbert here. So I think that Rose sat where he always sat, and that's why she died. Ms. Mrs. Baker, starting date, position housemaid, yearly wage is nine pounds. Okay. Dear Emmon, I like your idea. Let's send her to the colonies where his violent nature will make him feel at home. I hear, I hear you are having dinner with Lady Mary and her well-to-do father, Lothar. If Peter and I were to join you, we could beguile him with tales of adventure, so we could ship him away. Ah, okay, Lothar. The hill people. Lothar. At the hill people. Okay, so Rose Cuthbert and died, okay. Okay. Well. Hmm. Hit the necessary key in a blank. All right. What's this? Dear Dr. Abram Anterton, secret codes. Money has changed a hand. M oh, such trivial ciphers as reading. Only the first word of every line are easy to produce on short notice, but extremely unsafe and easy to decode. Consider this simple example. Money has changed hand. Oh, there's a code somewhere in here, y'all. Platinello, ideal republic. Vision of a utopia with order and structure. Okay, wait, we got to look at the first TSS. Okay, that's not it. Okay, that's not it. Uh, yeah, oh, interesting. No, that's not one. TFYSYCB, no. Way out, Laura. No. Earth. Fight. No. Okay, none of those. I think somebody points at the tonic to get Edmund, but Rose drank it first. That's exactly what I think as well. Whoops. The door is locked. Ooh, look at this. Ink. Pot. Three shillings. Remember to take the fourth one from every row. Huh. A stack of candles. Fourth one from every row. Star child. Oh. The door is locked. A knife. A four shillings. For I will not change the rule that the staff member who has worked here the longest gets the bottom room. Do not bother me with this nonsense again. Oh, okay. So this has to be the butler. Mademoiselle, the laceless cow to the besmirched lover of Lusitania. So, whoever the new... Oh, I think it's the news one. Mrs. Baker started. Housemaid. Hmm. Hmm. The bottom room. Okay. Um, so this is a sealed pot labeled print paint. Down with parasites, too long have they feasted on our blood and our sweat. Oh, interesting. So maybe this is the butler? It's the fourth word from every row for the clue. Okay, yeah, you're right, please, Mill. 
Oh, here's David. A set of lock picks. Ash Blair. A dagger. A pistol. David, clean up the barn until oh, Wednesday. Interesting. I plan to continue experimenting with the artifact. Okay, so this is David's room. This is David's room. This is the butler's room. And upstairs are the two girls. Oh, look at this. A pair of twig dolls and a bottle of pink liquid. Partially empty. Once your target has ingested the love potion, establish eye contact and hold it for as long as possible. In most cases, the effect will be felt within two days, depending on your appearances. Hmm. Okay, so one of the two maids live up here. One of them is brand new and probably might have poisoned somebody, Miss Baker. All right. Um, David and... Oh, interesting. Okay. Four. So every fourth, is there, let's see. Three, four. Uh, I don't think this is it. Um, one. After you, after, past, stop, two, hmm. I don't know. Uh, come of bastard. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, let's go downstairs and see these ladies. What's this? Ooh, monkey man one versus striped dark hand. Ooh. Um, okay, monkey man two, tooth for a tooth. Small bottle filled with amber liquid. I don't know, oh, that's a key. It's a key blank. Another key blank that matches one of the keys that the butler and Cloudly have. That's a key blank. So they have a key to something. This is the key that gets into his office, perhaps, or into... Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's kind of hidden up here, which is kind of suspicious. Let's see. The door is locked. The door is locked. Were all the doors locked? Locked. Locked. Okay. The door is to the outside, not locked. Ah. Pair of loaves of bread, pesket of potatoes, opaque bottles labeled water, flour, lemons, cut vegetables, and a big piece of meat. Okay. That could be the small key that he had. What is hanging outside? What's this again? This was, this guy is an insurrection person. Mrs. Smith, two eggs and a pot of tea for breakfast. No heavy dinner for food for dinner. You're responsible for little Pip doing all his errands. Mr. Walker. Okay, that's the guy who lives here. Mrs. Baker, I expect all my rooms to be cleaned every day, twice a week. David Gorin's job requires that he may read. Okay, so this is his, David Gorin's job. This is David Gorin. This is Mr. Walker. Okay. What's this? To Mrs. Smith for three years service. Okay, so that's... So the person with the longest... So I guess maybe it goes up. What was this? Oh! <gasps> Look at this, y'all! Uh-oh. It's right here. It goes to whoever's in here. So this is the new one, Mrs. Baker. Fourth one from every row. Stack of candles. Hmm. Fourth one from every row. Okay. So she's in love with someone. 
So this is the Mrs. Baker. Look at that. Okay, he's got lock picks. Let's see what this is. Wine, wine, brandy. So we have two other keys to get into. What other locks do we need? This is another lock. So we have three keys and three locks. Um, thank you, dear. No, I threw it out. I do not read such dirty literature anymore. I do hope our master's guests are satisfied in that Brian. So, okay, so his name is Brian... Brian Walker. Okay, so let's do that. Brian Walker. Walker. Brian Walker. And this is Mrs. Baker. Right? Mrs. Baker? No, Mrs. Smith. This is Mrs. Smith and this is Baker. Of course I can give you some candles for your room, Lucia. I assume you are itching to continue reading that scandalous novel. A small, simple key. She's got the same key. Dear Ada, I have to use this letter to share good news. Hmm. Okay, so that's Ada Baker. Let's do this. Ada. Ada Baker. And Lucia. Okay, so we got... Great. Oh, look. Hmm. Oh, okay. So this is the, the floors. So this is right here. This is easy because we've got David Gorin. And then we've got Brian Walker. And then we've got Ada Baker. And we've got Lucia Smith. Oh. Cabinet. Kitchen. Hmm, I wonder what... I wonder what needs to go there. That note... That was the every fourth word letter. Okay, let's look at it. So I don't know what goes here. Cabinet? Kitchen? Small, simple key. Okay. What? Every fourth word? Have. Four, one. Use. Share. No. Two, three, four. Use. Share. Is. Hmm. Hmm. Third one on each line. Okay. Use for substance to remove target sincerely dark hand steward. Oh! Dark hand steward. <gasps> Right. Okay, okay. Use substance. So this is the substance. Small bottle with liquid amber, and then we've got this. Syringe with some liquid. Okay. Use substance, dark hand servant. And then let's go up and see. Oh, this is the, this is probably the butler that wrote that. Okay. One of our stewards on you. Okay, there we go. Dark hand steward. All right. So then we've got, well, here's the, the, what, um, the Vanguard. What are this? Uh, what are they called? I'm oh, sorry. The dark Vanguard. Brotherhood of Masks. Um, hmm. What do they call them themselves? Sorry. Let's go here. Dark 
hand. Steward. Yeah, it's, uh, this is annoying. I don't know exactly how to, okay. Uh, wanted, he wanted, they wanted Edmund Claudesley dead. And thus, Ada Baker poisoned the, hmm, po oh, she poisoned the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tonic. I think she poisoned the tonic. And hid the necessary key in a... Hmm. No, it's dark. The, the it's it's the vanguard, right? Necessary key in a two or less slots are incorrect. Hmm. Dark Hand Bag Vanguard. I don't know if Dark Hand Vanguard is the name of it. Well, they wanted M Edmund Cloudsley dead. And so he's the one who drinks the tonic. Dark Hand Stewart goes in the space between cabinet and kitchen. You think the Dark Hand Stewart? I don't think it's... I think she's a steward. She's a steward and poisoned the tonic. Oh, that was it. Okay, it was Dark Hand Stewart. No hints access. Ada Baker received encoded instructions from Dark Hand Stewart to poison Edmund Cloudsley. She used her ability to remove freely throughout the rooms while cleaning and made a copy of the key to the medicine cabinet. She used a syringe to poison a sealed peptic tonic bottle. However, during the party, Rose asked for tonic and drank it first and died. Oh, okay. Good morning, innkeeper. I heard a man was murdered here a week ago. I arranged conflict in men. Now bugger off. Tell me about the evening when Willard Wright died. I will make it worth your while. Hmm. All right, we're going to do one more level. One more level. You notice the coded and note. Yeah, the coded note was it. Press anywhere to continue. Explosive events in the count. I mean, this is a really fun chill game. I'm really glad. Even though I couldn't play exactly what I was looking forward to three days of playing, you know, it's okay. We can, we can do it. Okay. Oh. All right, y'all. Uh-oh. Okay, so we got a box of confectionery. Uh, a picture of some hats. Henchman for hire in Tibbergut region. R Billy Cracker. Oakwood gang, brawler and robber. Hardy Abe. Burke and Whirlhouse. Brawler has a cart. Okay. Uh, this must be Hardy Abe then. Burke and Whirlhouse. Little Billy enters through chimneys. Two Billies. Jack Nails, Tibbergut and Burglar, Picklock. All right. And then we got some hats here and some confectioners, okay? All right. Good night, Robin. Whoa, what's this? Ooh. Oh, dead pe- Oh. Dead? The man is breathing but appears to have lost consciousness. I do not care what means you use to acquire what I need, but remember to be discreet as always. Note that I do not want it to be- It to, it to decay. The more recent it has died, the better. E.C. Well, that's Edward Cloudsley. One of the old workhouse geezers croaked yesterday. I will arrange for a cart to move the corpse if you send me directions. And be quick before they bury him. I do not want to dig up that stiff. Oh, okay. So he wants... He's go... Okay, so this guy is David. It's David, right? It's his pistol. And so he went to get a dead guy.
Can I pet the dog though? Good idea. Okay, so this is David, a scarecrow from a wooden coffin. Oh, interesting. All right. Ah, by the gods, what was that? Gentleman robber strikes in Westbrook. The infamous gentleman robber Walter Keene, with a number of unnamed associates, held up a coach on the southern road leading out of Westbrook. The scoundrel robbed all the passengers of all their valuables, kissed the young lady, then left. This is the fifth robbery by the infamous gentleman, who is, as is his custom, appearing wearing an impeccable suit and a new hat in the latest city style. The reward for catching him has been increased. Okay. Go, coin, go! Is that little Pip? Everyone, you are not to visit any village or city without my permission. At no point you, may you disclose the location of the cabin. Oh, okay, so this is Edward. Mr. David Gorn, you are in charge of all security. Miss Lucia Smith, you will taste any food you cook before it is presented. Little Pip, you are in charge of the Black Bestia and Golden Doubloon. Both must be fed daily. Okay, that's a puppy. Edmund Cloudsley. Okay, so this must be his out, his place, cabin. Something's happened here. We got a puppy. Rrr. That's a neat, creepy looking puppy. Ah! Sword. Ring with a ruby. A piece of confectionery. Now, wait a minute. This is his, so he must have been taking the, interesting. Billy Cracker, Jack Nails, little Billy. Hmm. Interesting. That's little Pip, and this is late, the Mrs. Smith, and this is David. So this is um, Lucia Smith. This is little Pip. And this is David Gorin. Now this is one of the dogs. I think it's Golden Doubloon because it's gold. I'm just going to guess that. This must be the gentleman robber. But um, maybe. Maybe not. This looks like the gentleman robber. Where was this thing that she said? This would maybe Walter Keene. Yeah, look. Walter Keene. Walter Keene. Okay. Somebody needed a blank. Somebody, along with accomplices, delivered a blank. Coffin. I think it's the coffin. Upon entering, suddenly bump, bumpa bumpa. Meanwhile, bumpa bumpa, the amount of dupapa in a bumpa. When bumpa bumpa and bumpa bumpa entered the room, the bumpa bumpa killed them both. All right, well, there's a lot we haven't seen, but. What? Amazing. Okay. The, okay, so when they entered the room, the idol combusted and killed them both. Okay. A shard of a vase. The vase. I finally have the location of my target. Meet us on our November 10th, Friday in the Timberbrook Inn, and bring all your tools. You get your share as we agreed. Okay, that's it. So he has two henchmen. Welcome, raiders. Thank you so much for being here. Bring all your tools at the Timberbrook Inn. Oh, wow. This guy has no teeth. A club. All right. We got this. We've got the doors broken. They just busted in on the door. Um, oh, this is Edmund Cloudberry. Okay, this clue has been added to the thinking panel. The vacuum. I, after I aimed at the sealed vessel and activated the eye, both air and the vessel disappeared. It was obvious mistake. Vacuum two. It was a definite improvement. It decreased the amount of air, but it curiously did not complete a sealed vacuum. Okay. Gold filtering. Oh, interesting. Get gold by aiming at the target. Second step, aim at an empty vessel to retrieve it. Great deal of seawater will be required for this yield. Perhaps I should try it on a ship in an open sea. Gold filtering. Interesting. Okay. If the implication of this is what I surmise, it could be tremendous discovery. The next step is to progress from fruit to some more, or more advanced organic matter. I must ask David to fetch me a dead body. Oh. 
Okay, so that's the one he was trying to... Um, spontaneous combustion. The speed at which heat is increased appears to be influenced by how strongly I press the trigger. Oh, interesting. Freezing the target rapidly can create curious side effects. For instance, I should be careful when freezing water in a sealed bottle. Bottle, it exploded and glass shards flew everywhere. Oh. Okay, we did that. And then we've got, upon pulling the trigger, if the glyph input is meaningful, the idol will perform the intended action on the target it can see. If the eye is red, is it ready for that input? And after it will turn blue. If the eye is blue, you can only perform hook input and after it will, and it will turn red afterwards. Huh. Oh, rotten apple and a green apple. So this is something about, oh, he wanted to bring it back to life. Maybe he turned a rotten apple into a, oh. A small weight is tied to the pulled down lever at the back of the idol. Huh. Okay, so we have two people. Timberbrick Inn. So we've got, let me look at this list again. Um, okay, so Jack Nails is who we have. This is Jack Nails. Jack Nails. This is Edward Edmund Cloudsley. And this is one of the other guys. Brawler has a cart. That's got to be Hardy Abe then, right? I think it's Hardy Abe. Ah! Okay. There are three. There are empty slots. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um... He needed a corpse. Okay, so Edmund Clowsley needed a corpse. Uh, upon entering, clubbed. Clubbed David. He clubbed David Gorin. Okay, and a sealed vase. Meanwhile, Edmund Cloudsley um, of air. Oh, okay. The water? Okay. What is the note on the wall in the first room? Um, that would be the names of the servants. So where the, I don't know where the other dog went. That's interesting. Where's the dog? The other dog. That's golden. What's his face? So he did something. He de decreased or increased. We got to look at the, at the, more closely at the, um. Okay. I guess. I think that little. Hardy Abe suddenly clubbed David Gorin, right? David Gorin, along with accomplices, delivered a coffin. Oh no, it was, it's Walter Keane. Walter Keane, along with accomplices, because he was the one with the confectionery. He used the idol, yes. Um, when, when Hardy Abe and Jack Nails entered the room, the vase exploded and killed them both. So we just need to see. Okay, it's the water thing, right? Like, after attaining this with input, it decreased the amount of air, did not complete a complete vacuum. So this is not it. Gold filtering was not it. Okay. Um, freezing. I should be careful when freezing water in a sealed bottle, it exploded. So 
he froze water in a in a in a I think this is the freezing water, right? Let's see. You all look very nice today. Thank you, Habanero. Um uh, amount of water. Is that it? Hmm. He decreased. Two or less. Oh, that's not it. Maybe I missed something. Maybe I missed something here in this book. Maybe I. Um, seawater. Um, organic matter. The speed at which heat is increased. Freezing the okay, it exploded. Decrease the amount of heat. Okay. Yeah, okay. Dre decreased amount, amount of heat. But I don't have heat. Heat. Mm -hmm. Air? Ah, uh, that was it. To gain entrance into Edmund Clousey's secret forest cabin, Gentleman Robert Walter Keen pretended to deliver a corpse to Edmund for his experiments. On entering the cabin, the robbers ambushed the servants and Edmund and locked him himself in the study. While the robbers were saved, sawing through the lock, Edmund prepared a trap with the idol that killed two of the intruders. Nice. I mean, it's pretty good. All right, one more. One more, that's it. I don't understand how increasing the heat, but okay, it's fine. All right, one more. This is our last one. The clue has been added to the thinking pattern. Whoa! And he's got two tattoos on him. We got a gun. We got a rope. We got a shabby formal coat. For David Gorin, for reliable service from EC. Dagger. He's always got that. David, the gathering will be on March 14th. To follow our plan, we should be there at least two hours before midnight. The target will arrive in full costume. Grab ropes and weapons. WK. Hmm. I mean... This could be, hmm. this is not, this is not Walter Keene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walter Keene. Walter Keene. But this is, this is not David. This is the guy that David robbed. A hat. Loaded pistol. The pictures of the, that's weird. A clean new coat. Hey, what's up, Devin? Hmm. This is interesting. Wasn't that what was on the gentleman robber guy? Huh. David Gorin stole his costume, yeah. We got dragging. Two people dragging. Pointy shoes. Regular shoes. So they dragged him over here. We got one set of footprints going that way. Pointy. Okay, so regular and pointy. And the regular and pointy work together to drag this guy over. All right. Whoa. Oh. This clue has been added to the thinking pattern. Brothers wear masks appropriate to their house. Dark hands, proud weasts, and water snakes. View the tattoos. Can I view them a little bit closer? Aha. The tattoo depicts a hand and an eye. Okay. Thank you for that. Hand 
and an I, so he's a dark hand. All right. Brothers wear robes appropriate to their rank. Master, steward, initiate. Okay, so we have an initiate, dark hand. Masters, I ventured on the Order's mission to reclaim our fire-breathing relic and, with, a great, with great resolve, punish the despicable enemy. I, with a few brave companions, fearlessly entered his hideout in a remote hunting cabin. But the devil had prepared a treacherous trap, and an explosion slaughtered my dearest friends as we entered his study. Thanks to my sturdy physique, I survived this blast, only to be assaulted by the enemy's lackey, assassin warrior David Gorin, and a pack of bloodthirsty hounds. After an hour of fighting, I received numerous deadly wounds, in spite of which I prevailed and de defeated my assailants with my martial arts training. I discovered the enemy's dead body, slain by the trap of his own making, but no trace of the relic. I am forced to go into hiding because the government's watchmen are tracking me. Once I re recover from my deadly wounds and shaken off the watchmen, I will send you the next report. May the griffin awaken, Walter Key. That's weird. David, the gathering would be on March 14th. Follow our plan. Grab rope and weapons. Huh. Well, this is David's stuff, though. This is all David's stuff. Huh. All right. Well, that, we got that. October 20th. Wait, this is January 5th, 1889. All right. Masters, I must apologize a thousand times for my absence, but my road to recovery was full of peril and valor that cannot be sufficiently conveyed in writing. The government dogs and spies chased me tirelessly, and I was forced to seek refuge in Aquitania to recover my still dire wounds. There, I finally bested my pursuers with the help of Lazarus Hurst, a young, resourceful gentleman who I met in a remote manner one dark winter's night. Not only did he earn my trust by stepping into the fray against the villains, he turned out to be well-versed in the arcane arts. Of course, not yet close to your skills. I have finally re recovered and planned to return to Albion. I suggest that Lazarus would be a fine addition to the Order. I vouch for him and will invite him to undergo the appropriate trial. May the griffin awaken, Walter Keane. All right. Illuminated masters, I object to the admittance of the individual Lazarus Hurst to our brethren. I submit that our dark hand brother, Walter Keene, who vouches for him, cannot be trusted because he is a liar and a thief. This is after. I am certain that on a dispatch to our enemy, he kept the golden fire breathing relic for himself. Nothing will move me on this. He must propose the relic, apologize personally to me, and afterwards be expelled from the brotherhood. Geoffrey Sinclair. Hmm. Well, that could be Walter Keene out there. But I don't think so. Lazarus is the dark hand initiate. Maybe. Could be. Ooh. Oh, okay. Carrying a house on the back. Eating some food. Uh, fish in the middle. Okay. And somebody inappropriately dressed. One, two, three, four. Prepare to receive what you have earned. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. So he's going to be um, an initiate. Oh, and a... Okay, so they're initiating this guy. Brother. A member of our order has proposed a new candidate to join our brotherhood. Our brother's trustworthiness, however, has been challenged. Therefore, we have decided to take measures to resolve the fate of these individuals. If the brother proves himself, he can vouch for the newcomer. If the newcomer survives the appropriate trial, he will join our ranks. You are summoned to join our gathering on March 14th to fulfill your role in the rights of the Brotherhood Council of Masters. Okay, okay, okay. This is David. Is this David who tied up Lazarus outside? I think this is David. And he's giving him the initiation of the Proud Beast. Inception. You must endure the tests... One, two, three, four. Administered by Proud Beast Steward. Administered by Dark Hand Steward, or Master. Transition. You must... Oh, okay. Admission. Administered by any Master. Huh. Uh, who's this guy? Huh. I have signaled to the griffin who I am. I accept my fate, whatever it may be. Hmm. 
Nemedon, I am on Mastodon. I have not really had time to sit down and figure out Mastodon, so I'm on it. I'm on Mastodon, but social, but caps lock. Looks like. What's the order on the wall? Images to numbers. Yeah, one, two, three, four. And then we've got this thing. Snail, fire, water, tree. And it looks like there's star and fire, water, snail, time, star. Um, I'm on Mastodon Social, the one that's closed. He summoned the griffin. He is Walter Keene. Okay. Um, the clue, ha this clue has been added to the thinking panel. Done with an accuser has challenged a defender. Both drinkers must be barefoot. The substance is added depending on the severity of the accusation, including deadly poison. Add substance to one of the cups. Defender chooses first. Accuser chooses the remaining. Both partake in the cups. Oh, wow. Okay, so this one of these must be Walter Keene. Ritual of squabble. Only initiates can be a defender and accuser. The sword must be borne by any dark hand. Required decorations of the hall. The grim reaper, the never-ending teacher, and the feeder of mouths. Ritual of conflict. The accuser must deeply hate the defender. The sword must be borne by any initiate. Teacher, key, treasures, and soul. Well, we have the Grim Reaper on the wall, y'all. So I think this is the Ritual of Squabble. Rituals of Dispute. The Keeper of Treasures. Wow. Rituals of Discord. The houses of the accuser and defender stand behind their brothers. Wow. Okay, I'm confused. Um, the griffin has spoken. The tray with a small vial of unknown substance. He's got a blue red ring. Okay. The griffin has spoken. Okay, this is the person. The griffin has spoken. The two cups are on a stone altar. They contain some wine, but are almost empty. The griffin has spoken. A silver tankard with red wine in it. The griffin, let us await the results from the chamber below. The griffin has spoken. Scepter. The man in the basket is not breathing. Okay. Um, okay, so. Done when an accuser has challenged a defender. Both drinkers must be barefoot. They're both barefoot. The substance is adding, added depending on the severity of the accusation including deadly poison, adding it. Defender chooses first. The accuser chooses the remaining. They both partake in the cup. Only initiates can be defender and accuser. Required decorations. The Grim Reaper, never tiring teacher, and the feeder of mouse. Conflict. The sword must be borne by any initiate. Okay, so we do have a sword. We do have a sword here. The scepter must be borne by the water snake master. The scepter must be borne by the dark hand master. I'm so confused about this. Yeah, they already drank. The keeper of treasures, the never tiring teacher, and the grim reaper. So I guess they're talking about maybe... Maybe the masks? We've got this guy. Guy on the right has a scepter. Yeah, I saw that. They have the dark hand masters, yeah. Um, boy, oh boy, this is something. Well, it looks like... Are these barefoot? That's not barefoot. So this guy... He's, but look, guys, he already has a tattoo. Um, this guy has a hat. 
piece of paper under it, but whatever. David, the gathering will be on March 14th, two hours before midnight. A cargo will arrive in full costume. Coil of rope, a shabby... This is all David's stuff, clearly. That's David's stuff, and this is Walter's stuff. And this is the guy... Initiate. He's a dark hand initiate. Yes. So, that means that David and Walter knocked him out, and he, one of these guys is posing. One of these guys is posing. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. I think Walter and David are upstairs, and down here... I do believe that down here is the initiate. I have signaled to the Griffin who I am. This is this is the guy. This is this is this is something else. This is the ritual of <sighs> admission, right? You must endure the time by any master. So the masks must indicate which one of the three houses. Yeah, this is tough. So this is the three house. So we got the three houses. That's got to be a water snake, y'all. So we have water snake. We've got, ooh, I don't know, Griffin. What are they again? Dark Hand, Proud Beast, Water Snake. One snake, three water. Okay. One snake. One snake, three water. Oh, the coats indicate rank. Do you think the coats indicate rank? If a mission is done by masters, the green coat is a master. So then this guy's a master. Hmm. Um. So this is a proud beast who's too. I don't even understand the significance of these things. This is weird. I don't understand the significance of these, to be honest with you. Yeah, does he have a Proud Beast brand? Well, he has the Proud Beast brand, yeah. So this must be the Proud Beast. For which house on the back must be a snail. Yeah, oh, maybe, maybe they put these up. So snail, fish, and... Temperature. Let's see. Snail. Where? Okay, wait. Let me let me go back outside. Sorry. So snail. Time. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, wait. So this is fire? Eating? Book Key and Grimmer Reaper all have a blue tag. Snail is one for sure, right? So it could be this one. These were the tasks he had to complete, yeah. So he had to do snail. It's got to be snail and not, uh, I don't know, fire. This is cold. I don't know. I think it's admission. Administered by any master. Okay, so I think that's your right. Admission. Pass the admission ritual to become Proud Beast Initiate. So we don't know who this person is down here. I think that David beat up one of the masters. 
So the person down here is Jeffrey Sinclair, I believe. The person who, Lazarus Hurst, sorry. So this is Lazarus Hurst, is what I'm thinking. Meanwhile, Lazarus Hurst. Um, had no poison. with a cup, which, hmm. No, Walter Keene is upstairs being tested because he he's already part of the group and they he got called out by somebody. What's up, F8 photo? Um challenge to a ritual okay so walter keen was challenged to a now that's the we don't know about the ritual we don't know if it's a we got to figure that out he along with david goran ambushed somebody david goran posing Posing as Proud Beast Master uh, for a, which was he? Uh, a, oh, oh, he's a Water Snake Master. So Dark Hand is uh, the clown looking thing. Water Snake Master. Oh no. I'm sorry. signaled to Walter Keene with a something, which cup had no poison? The other cup. Drank the other cup. Okay. So now we just had to figure out who he took the part of. But it's, this is the ritual of admission. Pretty sure. And this, I don't know who this is. So this is Walter Keene. This is Walter Keene because he obviously didn't die, right? Walter Keene. This is the guy who administered poison. So that's David Gorin. So he used what to signal? That's the question. Hmm. How did what he did did he use to signal? Nobody has anything suspicious on them. Hmm. If you fill in the mask and the coats, that will help you tell in the ritual. Yeah, so we have well, we have the water snake here. We have proud beast here and here, and we have dark, dark hands here and a, wait, wait, wait. That's a proud beast and a water snake and a water snake and a dark hand. Look at the rituals. Okay, let's look at the rituals again. The sword must be borne born by any dark hand. Ritual of squabble. The grim reaper, the never tiring teacher, and the feeder feeding of mouths. So what's this? Oh look, this is a key, and it it's oh okay. These are the two decorations. So here's a book, a key, and the grim reaper. Okay, so now we can figure out what this is. Um. The Grim Reaper for sure is in it. So let's look at the other. Grim Reaper, the Keeper of Treasures, the Never Ending Teacher. The Grim Reaper, the Speaker to the Blind, and the Keeper of the Treasures. Well. Oh, thank you, Misty Mountain Streaming. Thank you, Chuski. Well, we got Grim Reaper several places. Um, 
Never Tiring Teacher is a book. And The Keeper of Treasures is a key. So it has to be issued of dispute. The scepter must be borne by a water snake master. Okay, we have that. So we've got dispute. Water snake's master. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Well, we don't know if it's water snake master, actually. Signaled with a... Oh, signaled with a... Um, scepter. Which cup had no poison? And who was the person who challenged him? Who was the person who challenged him? Jeffrey Sinclair. Yep. So Jeffrey Sinclair. Jeffrey Sinclair. Drink the other cup. They said fill in mask. Okay. Oh, thank you, F8 Photo. I appreciate it. White coat is a master and blue snake is a blue mask. Yeah. So we have two masters over there. The water snake master. So we don't know who the water snake master is, though. That's the problem. We don't really have anybody else. Walter Keen was challenged to a, what was it? Dispute? It was dispute, right? Yeah, dispute. Okay. So Walter Keen was challenged to a dispute ritual. He, along with David Gorn, ambushed somebody. David Gorn posing as Water Snake. I guess Water Snake Master? Scroll is not filled in completely. Oh, this is not good. Signal to Walter Keen with a scepter, which cup had no poison. Jeffrey Sinclair drank the other cup and died. Meanwhile, Lazarus Hurst passed the admission ritual to become Proud Beast Initiate. Whoa. Oh, Dark Hand Initiate. No, because... No, because he's gonna go... Look, he's getting... He's getting... He's getting... Oh, is that it? Proud Beast. It's Proud Beast. Oh, initiate. Okay. You're right. You're right. It was. It was an initiate. Become proud beast initiate. Yeah. Ah. The dark hand initiate. Yeah. Okay. Walter Keane was challenged to a dispute ritual. He, along with David Gorin. Ambushed water snake initiate. David Gorin posing as water snake master, right? Hmm. Wait, let's let's go back outside. Oh, it's a hand. It's a hand, you guys. So it was Dark Hand's initiate. Dark Hand initiate. Ambushed Dark Hand initiate. David Gorin. Oh, wait. With the sword. Because he had to... Posing as... He had to pose as the Dark Hand Initiate, right? Signal to with a sword. Two or less... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, obviously he has to draw, dress as the what person he ambushed, right? Walter Keane was challenged to a dispute ritual. He, along with David Gorn, ambushed Dark Hand Initiate, right? Dark Hands, yep. We're pretty sure about the uh, ritual, too, because only stewards or higher rank can be... The scepter must be borne by a water snake master, yep. Keeper of the treasures, never, in never tiring teacher... Keeper of the treasures, never tiring teacher, right? That makes sense. I don't see feather of mouths. That's not it. Mirror, no mirrors are here. Speaker to the blind is obviously not. 
The houses of the accuser and defender stand behind their brothers. Well, that's obviously not it. Scepter is worn by a water snake ritual. Sword must be worn by any dark hand. It could be squabble. Walter Keane was challenged to a dispute ritual. He, along with David Gorn, ambushed Dark Hand Initiate. David Gorn, posing as Dark Hand Initiate, signaled to Walter Keane with a sword, which cup had no poison. Jeffries and Claire drank the other cup and died. Meanwhile, Lazarus Hurst. Well, what's wrong here? Past the admission ritual, become a pro. Oh, with the tankard? Oh, what? Oh, no, you're right. It had to be the tankard. It had to be the tankard. You're right. That's not, that's not. Because this, this. Hmm. You should fill in the masks and the robes. Okay. Yeah. Dark hand. Dark hand initiate. Water snake. Water snake. Master. Uh, steward, I assume. And this is Proud Beast. Because he's down there. The Proud Beast guy is down there. Proud Beast Master. The Ritual of Dispute. Oh! Uh-oh! Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay, so it's not the... I'll be master. Oh, David Gorn's not over here. Sorry. David Gorn is right here. So this must be... Hmm. Who's an initiate? So we have three different seniorities, not a steward here. Initiate? Is Walter Keen an initiate? Water snake initiate, and this one is a water snake steward? Oh, no, 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 no. This one's a steward. And this one is an initiate. And it's the dispute. Okay, great. And this is a this is a water snake. No, no, this is a dark hand initiate. And this is Lazarus Hurst. And this one is a proud beast. Um, steward. Oh, this is not right. No, no, it's a, not a property. Sorry. It's a, um, dark hand. No, that's not it. Whoa, what? He's a steward. He's a proud beast steward. How are these? Oh, this is not an official of a mission. Not admission. Oh. Inception. Oh, that's what we had wrong, y'all. Wow. We really... Okay, so if we had concentrated on that before. <gasps> After being challenged to a ritual of potentially deadly consequences, Walter conspired with David to devise a plan which would ensure his own safety. They captured a Brotherhood member on his way to the gathering. David took his costume so that during the ritual of dispute, he could indicate to Walter which cup was poison. Therefore, Walter chose the safe cup, and his opponent drank the poison and died. All right. Um, that's the best game ever. I will be streaming again on Tuesday, y'all. So thank you so much. We did a little bit too much. I was going to log off early today, but let's... Oh, Sean never Sean. Let's, uh, let's raid Sean. Raid Sean never Sean.
All right, y'all. Thank you so much. That was really fun. Next stream will be Ragnarok, of course. And I will see you then uh, Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday nights. I, I will be streaming those three nights. So please come by. And I'll see you later. Bye. Go say hi to Sean for me. <laughs>